<laughs> Here's a quick shout out to Vinny at Cannabis21. After 20 years, scientists have finished mapping the entire human genome, and scientists say in this gene right here, we can see what made you into such a little bitch. So I heard you saw that video, or at least that part of that video, and you got butt hurt. I also heard walking around the store talking all tough, like if you don't delete that, there's gonna be a problem next time I see him. So <clears throat> I didn't do you any favors. I took it down, but I'm not sorry I did it. I'm not. You walked around the store talking woo 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 woo. You wait till Nick left the store. Ain't you from North Park? What's it like living in North Park? Let's find out. There are so many things to do here in North Park. You can walk to the closest bars and restaurants, and most importantly, you can go to the local farmers market every single Thursday. When it comes to lifestyle, North Park is the epitome of hip and trending. Everything is walking distance. There's a bunch of great restaurants. This is my favorite sushi spot. And the night scene, it's breweries and bars. Oh, and if you're into whiskey, make sure to check out Seven Grand. North Park Housing is known for its craftsman bungalows. These date back to the early 1920s. We also have an array of townhomes and condos. And if you're looking for that perfect investment, well, North Park has tons of multifamily properties, duplexes, triplexes, and even apartment buildings that you can buy. As for the cons of living in North Park, there is a good amount of unsheltered in the area. The parking is trash and there is a lot of traffic around rush hour. All right, you guys, here are a few things to do in an afternoon in North Park, San Diego, starting with Speakeasy Clothing Company. This place has great wall art, a ton of hoodies and tees, and a lot of cool vintage hats. Then you're gonna head to Sage Sisters, make a bouquet, grab some flowers, or some fun trinkets or gifts for someone in your life. Then, of course, you're gonna head to the two-story Target to grab a midday snack. So right next door to there is the North Park Creamery. If you want to get some nice fresh ice cream, they had an Uve coconut one, non-dairy. It's kind of funny to serve non-dairy at a creamery, but it's bomb. So shout out to the uh, owner operator of that as well before heading over to Pigment, which is the epitome of home decor stores. Their entire stores are organized by color and they have so many cool things. Then you're gonna finish at Day-to-Day -Day Vintage, check out their graphic tees, their denim, and some of their art as well. I've been in North Park. It's a beautiful place, but you're not from the hood. I'm sorry. Shout out to Crazy Burger. Love y'all. Can't wait to go back. And I guess there's a place called Ho Dads I gotta go to, too. You know, a lot of people will attest that they've heard me talk about how I grew up in Inglewood. And here's the thing, guys. I'm not lying. There's a part of Inglewood that I lived in. It was called Lennox. And I'll tell you exactly where I grew up, part of my life. Man, it's already there. All right, let's look at the... This is the house. See, so that, that front house is where the landlord lived. I don't know if they still live there, but this is what the house looks like, I guess, recently. But I live back here. Let's see if I can... That, that bedroom window right up there, yeah, that's very new to before, you know, compared to what I had. I had like an old 70s window up there. That was our, my bedroom window right there. To the left there is the living room window. That door down below there, that is where, that used to be garages. All that down there. So there's Inglewood Avenue right there, and that was Century Boulevard. 405 Freeway, and then the 105. Now I'm going to take y'all to where I came from before I came to the Coachella Valley. I lived in uh, Hawthorne. So here we go, I live in Hawthorne on Crenshaw and 139th Street. I used to live in this apartment building, second floor, apartment 213. And if you come here at night trying to find parking, good luck. All right. I tell people all the time, yep, I grew up in Hawthorne. I grew up in Inglewood. 
And people want to tell me, oh, oh, well, you grew up in the hood. Woo, woo. Yeah, I did grow up in the hood, huh? but I'm not going to sit here and act like I'm more ghetto than everybody else. I'm not going to be here boasting about it, you know what I mean? Because obviously I don't live here for a reason. Obviously, I, I live, I've been living in the Coachella Valley for the last 15 years for a reason, y'all. I hate when people tell me, oh, you, don't li you didn't live on Crenshaw. You listen to too much music. But you see right there, I, grew, I, I, I pretty much live on the corner of Crenshaw on 139. I have no reason to lie to y'all about this shit because it ain't, it ain't nothing to me. Like I said, obviously I don't live there anymore no for a reason. So obviously, the reason why I said that you were a bitch. 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 Beta. Bitch. You are a beta. It's because you obviously don't know the code. If you're from the streets, you should know the code. Yeah, snitches get stitches. Snitches get stitches. I'm just saying, you talk to me as a lead, as leadership, right? I owned up to my responsibilities. But then you could have been like this guy. Sir, did you witness anything strange in the area? What, witness? Yes. Is this camera on? Yeah, we're live. Oh, oh, no, nah, I ain't seen nothing. <laughs> I ain't seen nothing. Matter of fact, I'm blind in my left eye and 43% blind in my right eye. I don't see much of nothing. As a matter of fact, I can't even see you, sir. All I'm saying is, you're a snitch, and snitches are bitches. The lesson I want you to learn is it doesn't matter what you look like. You can be tall or short, or fat or thin, or ugly, or handsome like your father <laughs> uh, you can be black or yellow or white it doesn't matter what does matter is the size of your heart and the strength of your character all right <laughs> and one thing i wanted to show y'all is a really good chicken spot if you're ever in this area so right on the corner of crenshaw and rosecrans is Louisiana fried chicken. You go in there, there's a Korean lady in there or a Korean couple, older couple, and they own it and they make some bomb ass chicken and they make some bomb ass waffles. It's a hole in the wall. You can't use your card to pay. You got they're gonna make you use an ATM machine basically. Or bring cash. bomb bro bomb and i'm not the type of person to do it this way i don't but i don't put um syrup on my chicken like that but you know to each your own right the bomb ass chicken y'all if you ever have a chance to go go and there's plenty of other places you can go louisiana fried chicken um but this one in particular because it's in my old neighborhood my wife and I went, went we went to uh, we went to Gardena for her grandfather's funeral. So um but we were hungry and I wanted to take her to my old neighborhood and so that that's how we, what we end up doing. And actually see this plexiglass right here? That wasn't there before. So that plexiglass, if I remember correctly, was actually a cage. So there was uh, you know I don't care what you what you say. And all the gentrification, all that shit. Hawthorne, Inglewood, you're still gonna have people trying to rob people, so. Uh -huh.